wanted to make this video since I don't see anybody on YouTube that has an answer for this or any of the Disney groups that I belong to. So for anybody saying it, one of the Disney's beautiful resorts, um, this seems to be a good workaround since we stay for a couple weeks at a time and we love having our travel Roku. And I've tried it so far here at one of our home resorts. We're at Wilderness Lodge Copper Creek, but we also own at Saratoga and at Riviera and it's worked at all the TVs. So Disney has these extra type of connection boxes. So this cord right here, that was an open HDMI. So that's HDMI 2. I plugged my Roku in there. It's plugged in down here. My HDMI cord is not high, so I just have the receiver up top. But to get and figure out how the input is on the remote, you go to function, scroll down to general, click to the right, go down to input, click to the right, or hit enter, sorry. And then you're gonna hit HDMI 2, which I'm already on. And then it will bring up your Roku. And you'll be able to connect the, uh, or c control the volume. Because if you try to plug it directly into the TV, it's at max volume. But here you have full control of volume, as you can see. And I'll go through it once again on the remote function because every time you turn your TV off you'll have to do this anyway because it doesn't automatically go back to where you left last it with the Roku on even if the Roku is on so general input Shit. <laughs> I just messed up Function, let's go back. General, I'm a little excited here because I hate not having Roku and HDMI too. And we're back in business. So I hope this helps others out there because I've seen no answer to this for anybody. Let me know if it helps you.